It is Sunday, January 13th, I believe. Again, Aquila the Hun on Instagram. This is a Lefty Knitter podcast. I told you about the family who uh, lost everything, and I had made the hat for their daughter. This is now the hat for their son. I used the same cast on... Uh, <laughs> cast on the same amount of stitches as the photographer hat by Lavanya Patricella. I just did it different. I only did so much of the ribbing. He's younger, so... I don't know if he would actually like a slouch hat, so I'm just not doing it in that style. And then I did a few alternating rows, and now I'm just going to stocking it. Thank you, mother. Say you okay. I did my heart. She's just singing away. <clears throat> so the, the gray yarn is Vanna's. Again, I told you, I'm, I have a ton of acrylic yarn stashed. This is the charcoal gray colorway. And then this is Loops and Threads Impeccable Worsted. And this color is called Royal. So I'm actually getting ready to do the decrease rounds. So like I said, I'm following pretty much the pattern except I didn't do all the ribbing and I did um more the stockinette for this one. More like, it'll be more beanie style is what I was going for. So, <clears throat> here's the start of my week. I will have this done tonight. So, I'll probably just do a quick little video trying the hat on to show you. And that's about it. So, again, an easy care item that they can throw in the wash. And I'll tell them it's better to lay flat to dry. But if they have to, they can tumble dry it on low. It'll be okay. Yeah. So, there we go. All right. See you in the next clip. John, what are you doing? Getting walnut shells out of my yarn. What were you doing now? What was I doing? Yeah, what's that? Yarn. But what's in oh, the pot? So I tried doing a walnut natural dye with walnuts that we got last year, last spring or fall or something like that. But they were they they. It didn't come out. It, it didn't produce enough color. No, yeah. I, I got them. So then what did you do? So then I just panicked and put some uh, Jamaican logwood in. And, so, and what color is that giving you? Purple. But you wanted brown. <laughs> I wanted brown, but now I have purple. I knew what I was it's doing. It's pretty, though. I knew what I was doing. I mean, when I did it, I knew it was going to go to purple. But... Man, I have a lot of walnuts. Look at all that. <laughs> yeah. Well, it said with the walnut, you can do an all-in-one natural bath where you yep. dye with the product and the yarn all Well, I know what it said, but I wish I wouldn't have done that. Yeah, well, it's done now. It's done now. So. Yay. I'm just glad you're getting back into trying the natural dyeing. Yeah, I'm going to get acid dye soon, man. I want to. I want to make some pretty stuff. All right. So. Well, we'll get there. Yep. Okay, guys. I am hoping to donate or donate. I'm hoping to give this hat to my friend's family today. So I'll be dropping it off, and I wanted to do a quick video. So there it is. Again, I followed the numbers for Lavanya's pattern for the cast on. I just did less ribbing, more stockinette. And I knit to 8 inches and then did the decreases, so it's really not slouchy. Fits my head a little big, so elementary school kid might fit even a little bigger, but it's super cute. And it'll be warm. And that's really what matters. Alright, so I just wanted to pop that in before I have to give it away. Alright. This is why I don't like doing my podcast in the winter because we don't have good light in our house and uh so sorry I just wanted to show you real quick because my it keeps focusing funny ah, okay I made the beloved bonnet I actually made three of these and this is by tin can knits I'm sure you've probably seen it I made the baby, the toddler, and the child size. Now I have the child one. Oh goodness gracious, this is a, uh, yeah, oops, not working.
I usually have it propped up better. Again, apologize. <clears throat> so this is uh, my daughter's. This is the back and it has all this stretch to it. Again, this is the child size. But I wanted to tell you, the pattern's great. It was really great for in the snow because we were able to tie it down and only like the front of her face was showing and it kept her really, really warm in the snow. But I used a, a workhorse yarn once again, Bernat Softy Baby. And this is a DK weight yarn. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's 362 yards in a ball. This was the gray marl. I got all three hats out of one ball of yarn. So if you're looking to crank out quite a few hats in a great workhorse yarn that, I mean, this is 100% acrylic, again, easy to take care of. And I still have this much left. Not that it's much, and I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I just wanted to put that in there because I've already gifted the other two. Uh, to sisters and they sent me a picture today of them both wearing it super cute so yeah the tin can knits patterns are great they go from like newborn to like I don't even know like sweaters can go up to like XXLs and the hat went all the way up to adult sizes so yeah tin can knits patterns I highly recommend this was really nice to work with, and again, I got three bonnets out of it, three different sizes. And I used the needles that the, the pattern suggested. So, there you go, beloved bonnet. This so far has been the year of repeat patterns. I've made, well, two ripple blankets, I'm starting a third. Now I'm making the third photographer's hat, which is the Vanya Patricella. Now this one, I am using a different weight yarn, which I the first one I made was at Caron Simply Soft. They consider Caron Simply Soft an Aran weight yarn. And I think that's just really ridiculous, but whatever. So this yarn is hand dyed by my husband. And this is a mix of merino and alpaca. He bought this kit Osborne Fiber Studio. He bought this kit. It came with all the instructions. It came with the black beans because you're supposed to use uh, black beans to make blue dye naturally. You can add in the instructions it tells you how to use turmeric to make it kind of green so that's why you see like the different tones all in it so <clears throat> this is I believe it's a DK weight because it's a hundred grams for 218 yards so that's I looked at some other DK weight yarns I have and it was around that yardage so I cast this one per the pattern which is using size sixes and size eight needles the fabric I was getting with this DK weight was really really gappy with the sixes <clears throat> I posted a story and people voted and sorry who to the people who voted that they didn't think it looked too loose but my husband I know is kind of picky and I want him to wear this and so that's why I ripped it out and I cast it back on with size 4 needles and I cast on more stitches. So I cast on 96 stitches versus 88, so I added 8 stitches. And it's still a little gappy, not terrible though, like before you could really see through it. I'm now at 4.5 inches. I think I'm gonna follow the pattern and go to the six and then do the stockinette for, to get to the 10 inches and then you do the decreases. So, I, the, the first one I did that he tried on and really liked, I told you I did uh, five and five, but I'm gonna follow the pattern and do six and four. So, yeah. So there's the photographer hat and this yarn is looking really awesome. 
and he really loves to fold the brim up on his hats he all his store-bought hats he folds the brim up so it looks really good the stitch definition is really nice too so and just in case you're wondering i'm wearing my so faded sweater which is probably one of my favorite sweaters i've ever made and i did three colors sorry and i did the crop sleeves it's not focusing but I love this. So you can go on my project page and see what yarns I used if you're interested. There you go. So another photographer hat. <laughs> Sorry guys. Repeat pattern. Uh, but when you find a good pattern, you, you utilize it a lot more often. So at least that's my opinion. Hayes, what you doing? Eating snow. Yum. Thank <laughs> you.